let's look at performing some basic edits to a RAW file in Affinity Photo. So here is my RAW file that I've just opened. Now when we open up RAW files, we are taken straight to the develop persona rather than the traditional photo persona. So the develop persona is essentially a dedicated workspace for RAW development. It gives you a series of different panels on the right hand side here with all of these options that will help us perform some good raw editing. So we're actually just going to look at the basic panel which is quite fitting for a basic edit of a raw image. Let's look at exposure. So exposure is basically a linear exposure adjustment so we can decrease or increase the overall exposure of the image and this of course is measured in stops. Now just a little tip for any of these sliders, if you double click the control point, it will reset that parameter to its default value. Let's perform some edits then. So first I'm going to enable shadows and highlights and I'm just going to drag the highlights slider to the left just to pull back some of that highlight detail from the clouds here. I might also just push the shadow detail up slightly, but not too much at this point. Next, let's look at increasing the saturation and the vibrance. So you can see we're really intensifying the colours here. However, at the moment it perhaps looks too yellow, too garish, so we might then enable white balance and experiment with the overall temperature of the image. So I could cool the white balance down. Alternatively, I could warm it up and then use tint to remove some of the greenish cast from the image. Let's try and find a nice balance. That will do for now. So next, let's look at clarity. So clarity is a mid-tone enhancement and it increases perceptual sharpness. So notice as I start to increase it, we get a really punchy looking image, but it is very easy to overdo this effect. So just try to use it in moderation. It's great for cloud detail and enhancing contrast between local areas, for example, the cloud detail and the sky. Next, let's look at black point and brightness. So we can kind of adjust the midtones by using the brightness slider, and then we can get a bit of contrast back by increasing the black point. Now, having made all of these changes, I might want to, again, look at my highlight option here. So I'll just bring this back even further until I'm happy with the detail there. Okay, and finally then, I can check the profiles option here. And you'll see my output profile by default is set to sRGB. If you want to work in a wider color space, for example, Adobe RGB, or Profoto, then you can do this and when you go to develop, it will develop to that wider color space. So you avoid clipping colors outside the range of sRGB. Of course, you'll only really see these colors if you have a monitor that is capable of displaying them. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so I'm going to just make some final tweaks to my overall image. until I'm happy. And once we're happy with the end result we're getting from developing our raw file, we can then click develop up here and photo will then convert that to its traditional document format. Okay. And what it does is take us back into the main photo persona where we can then have access to all of our main editing tools. For example, filters, adjustments, and of course our main tool set on the left hand side here. So there we go, just a quick look at developing a RAW file.